allow me to create a preamble. Allow me to take you to a subset of love. Um, if possible, allow me to talk about patience. <laughs> when I speak about the topic of patience, immediately, everybody thinks, uh, you know, of course, you got to be patient. Of course, when it comes to love, you got to be patient. Of course. Well, it's that easy, right? But we, 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 we live in a, a generation where uh, instant appeasement, instant um, gratification is all that we are after. Uh, you can see this in the moment somebody does some something a little bit, you know, praiseworthy. They take pictures, choo, 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 look at me, look at what I'm doing. And people bring this same ideology in love and they think that the moment I did something for my husband, did something for my wife, I want that immediate gratification. Appease me, look at me, I am the good husband. You know what I'm talking about, right? But that's not patience because you realize that most people think of patience as you know, well, he did it or she did it. Now it's patient with them. I didn't say anything. Eh, don't don't misconstrue compromise with patience. That's not patience. You see, patience is not the ability to wait. That is not patience. Patience is how you act whilst you are waiting. <laughs> Allow me to take you a little bit deeper. It's how you act whilst you're waiting. And how are you going to act? How you're going to act is going to be dependent on what kind of foundation you are laid upon. This is why we need to see the understanding of God's patience for our lives. Because you know, patience is what gives the door to love. Patience is what opens up the opportunity for you to love from within. But how can you love when you have not been loved? How can one love without actually going through the the, the or, or you know the endeavors of love? You can't give what you don't have. You know what I'm saying? But if one understands the patience of grace and how much love fetched them, the patience of love to mature them, they will understand the endurance of patience. Because in that endurance, in that action of patience, you are going to find poetry. Oh, the poetry is going to define your function. That poetry can only be given from God. He's the one that teaches you the ability to act because in your patience, you are patient in expectation. That is why your love can ooze because you see, patience creates a safe haven for love to be brewed and patience in itself, it's, it's, it's the entry that leads one into kindness and that patience is not just your ability to wait and say, hmm, you, hmm, you, hmm, hmm. No, it is, it is, it is how I act and react, which is literally in the context of grace. Patience is the ability to nurture, is the ability to, to, to bring forth and apply the endurance for perseverance to have its breakthrough. Patience is when things grow under you. And patience is what allows love to really become that covering, that solace that it is. And patience is God because God is love. And love literally is the heart of grace that means if you do not know how to apply grace in your relationship if you don't know how to apply patience because love is incredibly large you are going to need patience to allow the naturability for things to grow under you or for things to grow to your level or for things to grow in maturity because maturity is needed in every relationship and it takes patience not just your waiting how you act, your responses, and that is God. So say I do.